And we are back. Welcome back to the Players You Need series, the series where I take a look at the upcoming game week of the fantasy football and tell you that all the players that you want in your teams this week. Not going to lie, it did not get off to the best of starts for me last week on this series. We did only pick up 59 points. Several reasons for that. I did not expect Liverpool to concede two to Fulham. I did certainly did not expect Tottenham to concede against Southampton. And I went for a gamble in going for Kane as captain. He had a good record against Southampton. Sadly, he did not do the damage. Thankfully for this team, Kulusevski did. And obviously Salah getting us 12 men. The all in all... If I'd have gone for Salah as captain, we'd have been looking at over 70 points, which would have been a much more respectable score. In the end, it is only 59, but what that does mean is we did get a lot of winners to the Game Week 1 challenge, and those will be displayed on screen now. So if you're on this list right here, congratulations, you did defeat the Game Week 1 best of team. And a special shout out to George Hartigan, who got the highest score of everyone, which means that after Game Week 1, he sits at the top of the SO99 League. Link to how you can get involved will be at the end of the video and in the description. Let's look ahead to the new game week and all the players that you want this time around. So, I'm not going to make the same mistake as I did last week. And considering that Man City and Liverpool are both at home to teams, you would expect them to be for pretty comfortably. We're going to go absolutely all in and go Trent. Salah, Darwin, De Bruyne and Haaland. Now that is obviously a massive risk that is relying on all of those players playing and them actually getting the job done and beating those teams comfortably but if I'm being honest I reckon you want at least three out of these five in your team this week. My main team only has two but it is what it is. Fantasy football is a funny old game sometimes. I'm going to go for Salah as captain. A lot of people are probably going to go for Haaland. I just think Bournemouth are going to be on the more defensive side, which is normally where the likes of De Bruyne and the wide players tend to get more points. Strikers don't tend to get as much against the sitting back teams. That does not mean, of course, that Haaland is going to miss out. I do still expect him to get at least one. But in my head, Salah is the better option for captain this week. So, how are we going to finance the rest of this team? Well, first off, we are obviously going to have the worst bench possible. I say worst bench, I mean cheapest bench, of course. Special shout out to Nico Williams, who is my first sub for the best of team this week. I genuinely think he is a viable option to be in the starting 11 this week. Only 4 million, so cheapest on the game. Perfect option to have. They're at home to West Ham, who obviously put on a very poor display, in my opinion, against Man City last time out. And he plays right wing back for Nottingham Forest. So cheapest defender on the game playing in a attacking position against a team that did not score last week. Nico Williams is by far and away a good option to start. He doesn't make my team though. My defence is going to be kicked off with William Saliba. Potential risk, Leicester do have the capability of scoring against Arsenal, but if they defend the way they defended against Crystal Palace, I think they can keep Leicester at bay as well. And I said when I built my main team that this guy is going to be a bonus points machine. He proved that last week and I'm backing him to do so again at 4.5. In my opinion, he is an absolute must for any team and in particularly this week. Into the midfield cheap option, I'm going to go for Morgan Gibbs-White, a slightly rogue option. I know a lot of people have got Neto or Podence in their teams from Wolves. I think all three are viable options. They are all 5.5 and play in that second row off of the striker. I've gone for Morgan Gibbs-White though because he is the one that is selected by the least people. Therefore, if he does contribute, it is a better option for you to have in your teams as you can use him to pull away from your mates in your respective leagues. Like I said, all three perfectly viable options though and I would recommend any of them for this game week. Next up, we're going to complete the City trifecta by going for Kyle Walker at 5 million and with City yet to sign a backup fullback, I think he is definitely a guarantee to start up until the Champions League comes around for Man City. I know they're in talks to get Sergi Gomez and he looks like he will be completed before the Bournemouth game, but it would surprise me to see a young player like him thrust straight in with Carl Walker and Cancelo available. And with Walker being two million cheaper, he just seems like the easiest option to go for this week. Finishing off the team, we are going to go for three Aston Villa players, which is Martinez, Cash and Bailey. 
I would say the only real risk there would be Leon Bailey. He obviously didn't really do a lot in the opener for them against Bournemouth. But at 5 million, he is a fantastically cheap option if he plays. Had a great preseason, and considering how poor Everton were against Chelsea, I think all three of those Aston Villa players are fantastic options. I've gone for Cash over Digne because I feel Everton's left-hand side is weaker, and I think Cash will have more joy than Digne in this game. And that is it for the team this week. This is what I'm going for. A couple of other options available for you. Like I said already, Podence or Neto from Wolves. Johnny is another option from Wolves at 4.5 million in defence. And I would also suggest potentially picking up a couple of Southampton players, maybe the likes of James Ward-Prowse and Shea Adams as they are at home to Leeds. But sadly, I did not have the funds to get any of them in this week. Hence, this being my actual team. Now... Finally, if you think that your team is capable of beating the best of Game Week 2 team that I have just created, please let me know by joining the SO99 League with the code available on screen now and link available in the description. All winning managers will be shouted out in next Game Week's video, as you would have seen in this one here. And all that is left to say is if you do enjoy this, please let me know by liking the video, sharing it with a friend, subbing and ringing the bell to get the best out of the channel. Of course, you can always enter not only your own team into this, but by all means make a brand new account and submit a specialist team just for this week, just to see if you can beat me and get yourself in the winning section next week. I'll be back tomorrow for my Premier League matches predictions. Thank you very much for watching.